Words of Our Divine Mother From the Collective Works of Our Divine Mother Question and Answers of 1930-31 Topic The Ego Our Divine Mother says If a man holds himself dear Let him guard himself closely The sage should watch through One of the three vigils of the existence Of his own existence youth maturity or old age one should begin by establishing oneself in the right path then one will be able to advise others thus the sage is above all reproach if one puts into practice what he teaches to others being master of himself he can very well guide others for in truth it is difficult to master oneself in truth one is one's own master for what other master can there be by mastering oneself one acquires a mastery which is difficult to achieve the evil done by himself originated by himself emanating from him crushes the fool as the diamond crushes a hard gem Just as the creeper clings to the sal tree even so one entrapped by his own evil actions does to himself the harm his enemy would wish him it is so easy to do oneself wrong and harm but how difficult it is to do what is good and profitable the fool who because of his wrong views rejects the teachings of the adepts the noble ones and the just brings about his own destruction as the fruit of the bamboo kills the plant doing evil one harms himself avoiding evil one purifies oneself purity and impurity depend on ourselves no one can purify another no man should neglect his supreme good to follow another however great knowing clearly what is his best line of conduct he should not swear from it the question here seems to be more about egoism than ego egoism is a relatively easy thing to correct because everyone knows what it is it is easy to discover easy to correct if one truly wants to do and is bent on it but the ego is much more difficult to seize because in fact to realize what the ego is one must already be out of it otherwise one cannot find it out you are wholly molded from it from head to foot from the outermost to the innermost from the physical to the spiritual you are steeped in ego it is mixed with everything and you are not aware of what it is you must have already conquered it come out of it freed yourself from it at least partially at least in some little corner of your being somewhere in order to realize what the ego is a divine mother says the ego is what helps us to individualize ourselves and what prevents us from becoming divine it is like that put that together and you will find the ego without the ego as the world is organized there would be no individual and with the ego the world cannot become the divine it would be logical to conclude well let us first of all become conscious individuals then we shall send away the ego and become divine only when we have become conscious individuals we have grown so accustomed to living with our ego that we are no longer able to discern it and much labor is needed to become aware of its presence a divine mother says on the other hand everyone knows what egoism is when you want to pull everything towards you and other people do not interest you that is egoism 
when you put yourself at the center of the universe and all things exist only in relation to you that is egoism but it is very obvious you must be blind not to see that one is egoistic everybody is a little egoistic more or less and at least a certain portion of egoism is normally acceptable but even in the ordinary life when one is a little too egoistic well one receives knocks on the nose because since everyone is egoistic no one much likes egoism in others it is taken for granted it is part of public morality yes one must be a little bit egoistic not too much so it is not conspicuous on the other hand nobody speaks of the ego because nobody knows it it is such an intimate companion that one does not even recognize its existence and yet so long as it is there one will never have the divine consciousness the ego is what makes one conscious of being separate from others if there were no ego you would not perceive that you are a person separate from others you will have the impression that you are a small part of the whole a very small part of a very great whole on the other hand every one of you is most certainly quite conscious of being a separate person well it is the ego that gives you this impression as long as you are conscious in this way it means that you have an ego when you begin to be aware that everything in yourself is yourself and that this is only a very small point in the midst of thousands and thousands of other points of the same person that you are everywhere when you feel that you are yourself in everything and that there is no separation then you know that you are on the way towards having no more ego there even comes a time when it is impossible to conceive oneself and say it is not i for even to express it in this way to say that all is you and that you are all or that you are the divine or that the divine is you proves that something still remains there is a moment this happens in a flash and can hardly stay when it is all that thinks it is all that knows it is the all that feels it is the all that lives there is not even not even in the impression that you have reached that point then it is all right but until then there is still a little remnant of ego somewhere usually it is the part which looks on the witness that looks on so do not assert that you have no more ego it is not accurate say you are on the way towards having no more ego that is the only correct thing to say a divine mother says i do not believe that it has happened to you has it not yet and yet it is indispensable if you truly intend to know if you truly intend to know what the supramental is if you are a candidate for supermanhood you must resolve to dispense with your ego to go beyond it for as long as you keep it with you the supermind will be for you something unknown and inaccessible but if you through effort through discipline to progressive mastery you surmount your ego and go beyond it even if only in the tiniest part of your being this acts like the opening of a small window somewhere and by looking carefully through the window you will be able to glimpse the supermind and that is a promise when you glimpse it you find it so beautiful so beautiful that you immediately want to get rid of all the rest of the ego a divine mother says please note that i am not saying that you must totally be free from all the ego in order to have a glimpse of the supramental for then that would be something almost impossible 
explore to be free from ego just a little bit somewhere in some corner of your being even only a little corner of the mind if it is the mind and the vital it is well and good but if by chance oh not by chance if by repeated efforts you have entered into contact with your psychic being then the door is wide open through the psychic you can suddenly have a very clear and beautiful vision of what the super mind is only a vision not a realization that is the great way out but even without going so far as this beautiful realization the psychic realization if you succeed in liberating some part of your mind or your vital that makes a kind of hole in the door a keyhole through this keyhole you will have a glimpse just a little glimpse and that is already very attractive very interesting let's all try this these are the words of our divine mother Oh, I could. 